Welcome back and thank you for joining me on Be Encouraged. Today we will be taking a look at 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 13 through 18. Death always seems to come as a surprise no matter how long we have to prepare for it. Those who repent, turn away from their sins, confess with their mouths that Jesus Christ is their Lord and Savior, and believe in their hearts that Jesus Christ died, was buried, and rose again on the third day according to the gospel, have an awesome promise of eternal life. They become children of God and heirs to the kingdom. They become part of the church, the body of Christ, and as such, they have the wonderful promise that the church will be taken out of the world before the wrath of God comes upon it. First Thessalonians says, But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. The last thing we are left with is to comfort each other with the fact that the church age saints are promised to be taken out of this world before the wrath of God comes upon it. I apologize for the noise. The problem is that there are differences of opinion about the rapture. There are some in the world who say that there won't be a pre-tribulation rapture and they side with the belief that if there is going to be a rapture it will take place at the end of the tribulation a post-tribulation rapture see the confusion sets in when they think about this the second coming of christ which is outlined in revelation chapter 19 which clearly shows that jesus returns to the earth he returns with his church he returns as a warrior he returns in wrath and he returns as a king but first thessalonians shows us that Jesus appears in the heavens. He is appearing in the heavens for his church. He is appearing as a deliverer. He appears in grace and he appears as a bridegroom. These are two very different descriptions of how Jesus is to come and display two very different events. So there is a pre-tribulation rapture. We can look at Revelation chapter 3 verse 10 and we can see clearly that we are told that because we have kept the word of his perseverance, he will keep us from the hour of testing, that hour which is about to test those who dwell on the earth. The earth is about to be tested in a tremendous way during the seven year tribulation. And I'm gonna tell you, I don't see why anyone would choose to combine the rapture and the second coming of Christ and place themselves here during the tribulation period when they could be a believer and be raptured away before it all happens. He had the blowing of a trumpet and the shout of an archangel. Jesus is going to appear in the sky and take up the church, both living and dead. This wasn't a concept that was revealed to the Old Testament prophets because it wasn't meant for them. It is a promise to the New Testament church, not to the saints who lived before the church was established. See, the baptism of the Holy Spirit began on the day of Pentecost after Jesus Christ was resurrected. So the church began on the day of Pentecost after Christ's resurrection. Saints that passed away before that, they will be resurrected, just not during the rapture of the church. Those Old Testament saints will be resurrected at the end of the tribulation, which can be seen in Daniel chapter 12, verses 1 through 2 where we are told that at that time Michael will stand up the great prince which stands for the children of thy people and there will be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time and at that time the people will be delivered 
everyone that will be found written in the book many that sleep in the dust of the earth they shall awake and when they awake some will awake to everlasting life and some will awake to shame and everlasting contempt see at the end of the tribulation the old testament saints that died in christ before the church was established at pentecost they will awake to everlasting life but those old testament saints and church age saints that died not believing in christ will awake to everlasting shame and contempt people like to argue over words too i've covered it before in other videos but i'll briefly cover it again here rapture the latin word is rapio meaning catch up snatch away take out it's a translation of the greek word harpazo the word rapture it comes out of what is called the latin vulgate translation of the bible and the word can be found in the new american standard version of the bible as well as the king james and the new international version where we see none other than the phrase caught up so don't let anyone fool you the church the body of christ will be raptured away satan would love to keep people mixing over words and deceived into thinking that they should be looking for the antichrist to come on the scene and be looking rather than be looking for christ to return and be looking for christ to return after the tribulation rather than looking to the glorious promise that the church will be gone before the wrath comes see paul told us that the mystery is that we will not all sleep we will be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet what paul was telling us is that we will receive our glorified bodies that will be imperishable these bodies will be immortal and perfected these are the glorified bodies that we need to get into heaven it's the only way that we'll be prepared to enter heaven we cannot enter with our earthly bodies these earthly bodies must be shed so that's the video for the day if you haven't repented turned away from your sins confess jesus christ as your lord and savior believed in your heart that he died was buried and rose again on the third day according to the gospel and accepted jesus christ into your life i hope that you do i hope that you will look for the glorious promise of the rapture because it is imminent meaning it can happen at any time and i hope that you will not be deceived god does not want to see anyone perish he is not slow to unleash his wrath he just wants as many that will to repent and accept christ but time will be up one day we don't know when so it makes it even more important to receive salvation now today don't wait